All right, bro. I'm gonna say it. I think society fails to ask us the real questions. For example, what's the real difference between mythical and legendary Pokemon, huh? Sure, mythical is event-based, but what's the purpose of that, huh? Traffic influx? And <laughs> do not get me started on the evolutions, all right? Where's the rock type? Where's the dragon type? Where's the ghost type? I think you're done for the night. Nice. Hey, you. Me? Yeah, you. Describe yourself in two words. Go. Uh, I'm gonna go with small and mighty. Man, if only they made a Pokemon product catered specifically to me. Oh, I have a surprise for you. They do. That's right, folks. Today, we are opening the small but mighty premium collection. She's definitely a pretty box with a whole lot of packs and a whole lot of other random things to unpack. So, let's get right into it. Alrighty folks, now that I got a little bit of it unpacked, we're gonna start with the promo, who I am a big fan of, cause not only is she a textured mother hacker, but she's an alternate art. This, <gasps> oh, come back here my children. These babies have an actual card. I'm not remembering which set, it's probably, Team Up, Unbroken Bonds, something with from the Sun and Moon era where there was Team Ups included. On top of that promo, we've got ourselves a beautiful, once again, keychain, something I don't necessarily use. But they're very cute. I'll probably find somewhere to hang them with a little keychain and they can look cute on something. We've also got a beautiful, beautiful, very cute tag team coin with the three of them on there. Little Togepi, Cleffa, and Iggly Buff. So cute. And then finally, which is probably my favorite piece besides the promo, my freaking baby tag team pin. What? I know there's not much for tag team pins out there, so this, cute as fuck. And then finally, out of the pink cloud, <gasps> came the packs. So here I've got quite an interesting assortment of packs. I've got 10 total, two of them being Darkness Ablaze, one of them being Rebel Clash, one of them being Sword and Shield base set, two of them being Sun and Moon Burning Shadows, one of them being Crimson Inva Invasion, two of them being Sun and Moon base set, and then of course, because Pokemon, ca Pokemon can't help themselves, Steam Siege. I'm thinking we're gonna go newest set to oldest set, so starting with Darkness Ablaze. Honestly, I knew the packs were random because I mean, I, I'm, I'm the one who bought the product. I didn't realize the packs were going to be so interestingly dispersed with Steam Siege in there? I mean, are y'all really that desperate to get rid of that sad, sad set? Gotta do what you gotta do, I suppose. No judgment. Got peers for the reverse and the rare. No metal. We gonna move straight on to the next. Darkness Ablaze Part 2. So I was researching this product a little bit, just to like see what I was getting myself into. And so I was looking at the Target website at this product specifically. And something that caught my eye was <laughs> in the product description, it said that these babies were ignoring nap time. <laughs> and that made me laugh because that could never be me. <laughs> Got clang for the reverse and behind, go lurk. So not squat for the darkness ablaze. It's my freaking rebel clash time. In the same, like, target page, like, description area thingy me jiggy, whatever you want to call it, it said that this product was a 2021 Toy of the Year Award finalist, which, multiple questions about that. First of all, this product didn't come out in 2021, it came out in 2020. Second of all, how can you pick a 2021 Toy of the Year when the year is literally two weeks deep? So many questions. Pine to blade, a creamy. Rebel Clash was also a Schnikes. It's sort of your base set time. If any of y'all follow like the card market, if you've been observing recently, something about female trainers is just all the hype right now. Like the Marnie card in this set and the full art 
which is what I was predicting, the full art, not the rainbow, has jumped to the holy high heavens in price. She's like a hundred bucks right now, so she beats out the gold cards. What? Mine talks croak, Claydol. So sword and shield sets were a big fat Elski. Maybe we can do something sun and earn sun and moon. It's burning shadows time. Not that I have high hopes for burning shadows, because it's well, burning shadows. Although I've learned that Rainbow Zard in this set is not completely impossible. I have, in fact, been lucky enough to have seen it in person. Not for myself, of course, but it does exist. It's not a myth. Behind Soul Rock Squid. Believe it or not, we're already halfway through. We got one more chance for that Zard in our second Burning Shadows. I wonder what their um, motivation was for the packs they doubled up on. I'm gonna assume it was packs that were overprinted and that they needed to get rid of, albeit Steam Siege. Cause I know Darkness Ablaze was a wee bit overprinted. I know Burning Shadows was very <gasps> overprinted. Sun and Moon, base set, also very <gasps> overprinted. So that's my assumption. Behind Ladyba. Still not squat. You can't tell me the card that sits in this is the promo. That's, <laughs> no. Crimson Invasion time. Maybe we can do something there. Maybe I can pull myself a nice, beautiful Gyarados. Because I will admit, Gyarados is my baby. I would love to pull him, even if it's from a set as embarrassing as Crimson. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. No real offense, Crimson. I just never, re never really took a genuine interest in you. Even for Gyarados. Not worth. Behind Dino. God, you're not Gyarados. <laughs> Maybe base sets got our backs. <laughs> I laugh because there's no way in hell. Speaking again on the female trainers, top card of Sun and Moon base set used to be Umbreon. Y'all know that because I've pulled it twice now. However, no longer is that true because this girl, her full art, is now the top card of the set. There's this, there, there's this, just this pretty girl increase. And I could not tell you why. Especially since a lot of them are children. By Primary. Oh! Oh, 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 don't, don't. Brain turned off, dude. Got the Steel Energy Seeker Rare. I was like, where the f <gasps> is my rare? And then I realized it was gold. See, see, now you know I was so confused. I already know when I go back and edit this, as soon as I pull that card, my face is just gonna be a face where you can tell my brain is completely shut off, so can't wait. So even though that was kind of beautiful, still got one more base set. Let's go, let's go. Maybe we can pull that Lily. Mm-hmm. If any of y'all are in to Pokemon investing, which, excuse me, timer ball, I never was, like, I don't know. Economics don't particularly interest me. I don't like numbers. So I was never really into like the idea of investing until I got into Pokemon. It's so fun to just like check the card lists and say, holy sh**. <gasps> Cards have changed around. This is the top, top card instead of this one now. Very exciting. Fine Cosmog Primarina. <laughs> oofta, oofta, oofta. Can we get that last pack magic or what? It's Steam Siege time. I would love, love, love to pull that Gardevoir Secret Rare. So I say yes. It's last pack magic time. Whether you like it or not, Steam Siege. Give it to me. Give it all to me. Do not hold back. I can take it. Okay. I palm, manky, shallows, krogunk, tangela, and the reverse is joltic. Woo! 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 Not the secret rare, but hey. She's a beauty. Mega Gardevoir EX. What a finish. Alrighty, so in terms of 10 packs, in all honesty, didn't do great. Could have done a lot worse. However, I will tally up these three cards, including the promo. Reverses, we'll have to wait. Uh, I don't have the patience for that now, so I will see you hopefully when I do have the patience. A person who thinks all the time 
has nothing to think about except thoughts. All right, all right, all right. Looks like I should have given this beautiful metal energy a little bit more credit because I honestly made a lot more than I thought I did. These three cards alone, so no coin, no pin, no reverses, no little special extras, just these three cards. They come to a total of $35. And 20 cents. Once again, mostly thanks to this beautiful energy. Because of that, I'm gonna assume that Sun and Moon base set is slowly going up in price, which blows my mind. Think I did not think that would happen for some time. Alrighty, you beautiful people, I do believe that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed me embracing my small but mightiness, maybe you be a little bit mighty and smash the like button, eh? Or another way you could be mighty is comment something. That takes a good bit of balls. For some reason, I have a weird fear of commenting on other YouTube videos, so. And, 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 if you want to be the mightiest you possibly can be, and maybe a little bit small-brained, gonna call myself out, sub, my dudes. Hit that notification bell. Be real freaking mighty. So I'm having a lack of creativity, specifically because I'm hungry. So because of that, for my outro, my only request to you, comment your favorite food. I just... If I could talk about anything for hours besides Pokemon, it would be food. And I just, I really like to talk about food. Maybe tell me your favorite cheese. Maybe your favorite kind of meat. Unless you're vegetarian, you could tell me your favorite vegetable. Vegetables are also very tasty. If you're not feeling vegetables, favorite fruit. I couldn't tell I could go on and on. My brain works endlessly when it comes to food. And speaking of, now that I've finished filming, 